Hi guys, uh, this is Sean and I want to thank you for clicking this video and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to create a montage within After Effects. So I'm going to bring you through a few principles of how to cut and split clips um, how to change opacity so you can get clips fading in and fading out of each other um, how to add some sort of cool effects and add keyframes and things like that. Um, I'm not going to get into depth today because um, we don't want to run too far over this. Um, but I definitely want to I want to take you through this now. So import your clip and it'll come in here to your project file. Um, if you can't see your project file, you possibly need to slide this toolbar over here. Um, also, if you go up here to Window and Workspace, make sure it's on Standard. Um, that will make everything here. So you've got your effects and your brushes and so forth if this wants to actually load maybe sometime ah oh, come on yeah so uh, while this is um, freaking out I want to sort of discuss a few things um, about like I done that recent um, res video response to Goglove and I really I really want to take the opportunity to say thank you for actually mentioning me and um, and thank you for all the views and the comments and the nice feedback um, on that video. So, okay, this is finally loaded. So th thank you for that, guys. Um, okay, first of all, you need to drag this down into a new composition. And it'll bring up this. Um, there's a few shortcut keys I can't use. Um, for a simple reason is Camtasia is being um, stupid because for some reason it, it creates markers within Camtasia, even though I'm in a different program really ridiculous but I'll tell you them anyway and I'll show maybe a few annotations or a few descriptions of how to do that so first of all this looks kind of stupid and um, it's on 1280 by 720 if you go up here to composition composition settings you've got these here so if you drag that to sort of fit that's quite nice and see again okay that's that's also, that's pretty nice Okay, so first thing we need to learn is how to cut a clip because the biggest problem I hear in After Effects is that it takes hours upon hours to drag and cut and drag a duplicate. It's it's a pain in the bum. So best thing is to do is to drag it to the end of your clip, click on your clip and hit Control Shift and D. I can't hit it right now because it'll mess things up, um, but that will effectively duplicate your layer and make it like that and like that that will effectively make your clear your layer like that hopefully um so yeah that's that's a very big principle in after effects and how to make a montage you need to learn how to do that before you do anything else and um, because that's a very big principle of making a montage you need to be able to cut and split your clips to add different effects obviously okay and there's there's piles and piles of documentation all over the internet. There'll be one down in the description on different shortcuts within After Effects that'll teach yourself like scale and things that I can't necessarily use just in case it freaks out. Uh, if you click S and T, T is for opacity. We'll go through that in a minute. Um, unless you just want to go through. All I know is Control Shift and D isn't anywhere up here. You can't split clips within this. You have to use your keypad, which is a pain. Anyway. But def definitely After Effects is a cool program to use for making montages, so don't get me wrong. Um, first of all, once you have your clip split, okay, you'll have whatever you, you, you have your clip split. And you go down here, and go to Transform, click on Opacity, Opacity. I don't know how to say that, maybe I'm just illiterate. Um, but if you take that down and move it slightly up here, like that. Um, actually that's too far but if you zoom it in now you'll get that sort of nice fade in sort of clip there and that's how you change the opacity that's how you use keyframes um, remember transform click the time watch and that will effectively change that for you and to zoom out again or to fade it out Go over here to this um, add or remove a keyframe and you're going to add one that's that there and move a few frames slightly and turn it off that will effectively do that 
So that's a pretty cool thing you need to learn how to do is try to change the opacity and things. It's not as easy as Sony Vegas or things like that where you can just drag and do things like that. But After Effects is so much more sophisticated and it has better effects and things for different. You get the point. If you learn how to use After Effects, you're going to make a better montage. If you don't, you're going to have a, a pretty pretty basic montage. Um, not to say that's bad because I made basic montages my whole well, last six years of making montages, but it's only recently that I've actually discovered After Effects, maybe within the last year or so, and it's definitely opened my eyes a lot. Okay, so stop talking, and we'll get to making effects. Um, best thing is to do um, is to add your keyframes, so and have your clips not split. So if you go up here and go to Stylize, um, I know Glow is one of the main ones. So, if you add like a, a nice glow, maybe change the radius and the threshold, you get the point up here. And here's your stopwatches. And move on a wee bit. So, say whenever he gets the headshot about there, and throw that down. But if you, if you take that up a bit, not in real time, but No, you just get the point. It sort of fades out the glow. Or you can do it vice versa. It's up to yourselves. And how to change these and add better glows is to go down here. Go to effects, glow, and there you have it. And you've got your add and remove keyframes. Um, again, I'll say it again. After Effects is very tedious. It takes a longer time than it would in Sony Vegas. But it definitely gives you a better production and a better project at the end. Um, so yeah, I think we're running quite... Oh, we're not too bad, actually. Uh, okay, so I'll be able to show you a wee bit more. If we effectively... Oh, yes. If you go up here to Layer, another thing about After Effects is that even if you have... I don't know how many layers you have. Um, that's effectively if you keep splitting your clips and doing them like I told you, like Control-Shift-D. Um... You'll have a lot of layers by the time you finish, you will have a lot. And how to see them all is to either you can drag that up and zoom out up here. Or you can drag that down and use there. You're up and down to it. Just make sure you name your layers, it, it helps you a lot. Anyway, I'll drag this back up and I'll zoom back in. And just if your computer's going on quite slow on this, go to here to full, and turn it down to half or a third of quality. It doesn't actually change the original quality on the clip. It just it allows your computer to run faster with the program. Okay, and um, I think what After Effects is I was going to say is that you're a lot, you're able to actually maneuver your layers. So say you have I don't know 30 layers, and you want them all into the one file again, so you can cut and split that. Um, you right click, or you don't right click anything, what am I doing? You click and then you hold shift, so that allows you to select it all. Go to layer, or you hit control shift C as it up here. Pre-compose, and name your pre-compose, so, I don't know, fade out, maybe. Um, so, that means you have your audio and everything else on that. You can go down to transform, opacity, turn it down, turn it up, you get the point. And another really th cool thing is about syncing. You all have this problem with how to sync in After Effects. Um, and I'll show you now. I'll show you a quick way of doing things. If you hit spacebar, that allows you to perfectly match up whenever the headshot comes. Okay, so... And then if you hit the, that or the full stop button on your numeratic keypad, I'll show you a wee annotation on a wee keypad how to do that. So... Oh, that's loud. Um, that's your that's your headshot, effectively. Um, and if I oh my ears hurt after that. Um, and there's if you add in some music, you can go down here, go to audio, go to waveform, and that should bring up a waveform in any second. Yep, there it is there. And if maybe if you change this to uh, a blue, you get to see that better. You go over here, there's the color, 
and there you go there's it and if you find that sync point just like you would in sony vegas or so forth um so that's that's generally it guys i don't want to go too far into things just in case i boggle you down with too much and um, if i miss something or you forget something just pause and rewind the video and um i want to say thank you for watching and please comment below and hit that like button it will, if you want me to create more of these and create more tutorials on how to do these kind of things and yeah send me a message if you have any requests or any questions about this tutorial and i will be sure to get back to you okay guys so um thanks for watching and see ya